All right, folks, we're doing another video over here. Uh, today we're going to be doing a repair for a friend of mine on a Kubota, a little ATV type thing. We're going to be changing some CV axles on the front end, so stick around. Now right, we got a RTV 900 Kubota little ATV type deal or RTV and we got some bad CV axles As you can see here the rubber boots are all broken and once that happens they get a bunch of dirt in there and all the grease comes out so we're gonna replace these today and I'll show you how we do it first thing we'll do is jack it up get the wheels off the ground then with a 17 millimeter we'll run these lug bolts out and next we just pull this little rubber cover off dust cover and we'll take this loose I pulled this pin out and loosen that nut Then with a 24, just run this nut off. Take these washers off. Set these to the side. Now what I found was the easiest thing to do to get that axle out is to just take these two bolts off of the lower control arm and then you can kind of push the whole thing out of the way to get that axle to come off of there. So this is a 19 and the nut on the inside is a 17. And by taking that off it frees up a little more room to get to these three bolts that we're going to have to take loose. Now it's important to note when you take these off that uh, when this comes off you're going to lose a bunch of your uh, oil from inside the axle. Uh, I probably won't lose much out of this side because I lost it all out the other side when I did that one first. But you will lose some and you'll have to add some. Okay, now before we pull that off, I'm going to turn the wheels all the way to the left. So this, this part here will push out farther and it'll give us a little more wiggle room to get everything apart. And then we should be able to just pull this right out. So, and then this will just push right out of the hub, like so, and you got it off. Okay, and once you get this off, there's a O-ring on here that you want to make sure you get. And I got new ones when I got the new joints, or the new axles, so uh, I'm just going to replace this. But then we'll want to make sure we get this surface nice and clean so we don't get any leaks. Like so. Alright, once we get this axle off and on the bench, there's a little clip ring here, or whatever the hell these things are called. Snap ring. Just pull that off, and then this should just come right off. Might need a little tap, like so. Now we're gonna, this bearing is still good, so we're gonna reuse this same bearing, and we're just gonna clean this up a little bit and reuse this. Uh, we probably should 
change the seal but I don't have one so I'm not gonna but you probably should all right, once we get the new axle here on the bench we'll stick that in there like so put the bearing on here like so if it needs a little more persuasion and just stick a socket on there and persuade it like so and then put our little snap ring back on Like so. And we'll take our brand new O ring, stick it in this spot like so. And just wipe that off. I'll probably spray that off. A little bit of this. And we're ready to go. And we're just going to stick the new one in. Same way the old one came out. Start by putting this in here. Make sure our O-ring didn't fall off. And this should just right back in like so we'll be pretty careful to tighten these up evenly so we don't smush that o-ring out one side And we can throw this control arm back in. And then put these washers back on. lock washer and the castle nut for this you want to snug it up and stick a new pin in there like so one I had was a little bigger so I'm just going to snip them off a little bit like so Okay. okay now down in here right here there's a little plug that's where you add the rear end fluid and this little plug has a, uh, a little dipstick on it to finally get it out of there like so so you just add enough till it's where it's supposed to be on the dipstick and what we'll be using for that is this 
Kubota UDT Universal Trans Hydraulic Fluid. Uh, it shouldn't take very much, but uh, this is what you're supposed to use in that thing. Alright, so you're going to have to take my word for it that I filled that axle up because it was a pain in the ass to get to, let alone video record while I did it. So, all in all, that project wasn't too bad. Uh, it didn't take me very long. It took me longer because uh, it took me some time to figure out the best way to do the first one. And then when I did the second one, I was videoing it. So I don't really have a real good idea of how long it takes, but it doesn't take that long. And it wasn't that hard to do. On a scale from 1 to 10, I rate it at a uh, 3 difficulty level. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, I'm going to have me a ice cold beer and uh, maybe take that thing for a cruise around the neighborhood before I take it back. I got to go, folks. Adios.